Uh, this is my uh, third year here. Um, I was at Victoria for my first year, and then it's my third year here at Russell. I mean, I think for us, just kind of being consistent, you know, uh, there's been games we've just came out, we've just hit people in the mouth early, and we've controlled the, the clock and the tempo and all that. And then there's also been games where we haven't came out great and they punched us in the mouth. So I think it's just being more consistent. And, you know, I think, you know, four and three, five and two, you know, this is kind of where we saw ourselves being at coming in uh, from the summertime. Uh, do you feel like the team has progressed in the three years that you've been here, like you're starting to get it where you want it to be? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that was something that we actually talked about yesterday. Uh, my first year here, we were 1-8, and eight, and I think we got blown out by 40, probably about five or six times out of the eight or nine games that we played. And, you know, last year I thought we competed, you know, we made it to the playoffs. We were four and five. So, but, you know, that's not where we want to be at. You know, we want to be a consistent winning program you know, six and three, seven and two, making a run of the playoffs. So I think that's what we're getting to, but we just got to keep working hard. Yeah, no, I think consistency with coaching staff, consistency with, you know, uh, just the kids working hard. And I think it's not just football, but I think all sports. I mean, uh, when I first got here two years ago, all of our sports were struggling, you know, not just football, it was basketball, baseball, track, everybody was struggling. But now we're, you know, we're definitely getting better and taking the steps to become uh, uh, winning programs all around. How are you looking this weekend or Yeah, no, I think that's definitely something uh, we've discussed all throughout the year is I don't want us playing our best ball, you know, week two or week three. Uh, you know, it's all about week seven, week eight, week nine going into the playoffs. And, you know, we do get pretty healthy this week, which definitely is going to help out. Um, and, yeah, no, I think we're playing good football. I think we've been playing really good football the past month, but I don't, know, I don't think it's been our best football. So hopefully we uh, start playing our best, best football this week. There's a lot, a lot on the line tonight. I mean, it's a league championship, like you said, and you know, whoever wins gets a home playoff game. And so that's definitely something big. Uh, we haven't won the league here in 19 years. So these kids, you know, we haven't won the league since they've been born. And so, you know, it's a special, can be a special moment for us and the program, just taking steps and working hard. And yeah, yeah, no, most definitely. I think when you, you know, you definitely have a chance to do a, a something historic, you know, I definitely think it means more. You know, the seniors have had, three different head coaches and I think 10 different assistants. And so we're definitely looking to do something special Friday night. The last two years we played them. Uh, last year we uh, we were 2-0 when we played them and we were not ready uh, to, uh, to uh, handle the success that we had early on. And they punched us in the mouth and they kind of beat us up and it was ugly last year. And so I think we remember that as well. And, you know, looking at the film, there's a lot of things to fix from the past two years as well and you know they run a good program up there and you know they've always had you know a lot of su sustained success. I think we got to take care of the football and I think we got to score. Uh, we've been really good offensively moving the ball we just haven't finished you know I think last week we scored seven points and we won the football game and we had 370 yards or something like that but we only scored seven points so we got to finish and then uh, defensively it's all about tackling their skill guys. Uh, they got some really talented kids and so we got to make tackles and, you know, try to force uh, turnovers as well. Okay. So with you guys' 5-2 and two record, I mean, a pretty good record. Are you, are you where you want to be? Um, considering some of the things that have happened, yeah, but we should have, we should have won uh, the Goodland game for sure. But, you know, you, sometimes you miss out on those opportunities. And, and Beloit's a tremendous team. And, uh, we didn't have the personnel to keep up with them really that night, but I thought we played hard. But, you know, you always want to be a little better, I think. And so hopefully we're striving to get there. Okay. Do you think you're kind of peaking at the right time? or? I think we're getting, uh, getting closer. We're getting closer. I don't know if we're peaking yet, but we're getting there. Okay. Um, what's your, your, you know, you guys started out pretty strong, but you've had some injuries. Has that been... Has that affected you? Well, yeah, it's affected us because the guys who are injured are really good players. And so really trying to get guys to fill in for them and, and find which guys are going to fit where has been the challenge. And like I said, the kids have been playing hard. It's just some there's some kids you can't totally replace. And so you got to figure out how to how to move on without them. Well, I think it's there's a tradition here at Norton that was here before I got here. And uh, I think it's part of part of it's in the community for sure. There's a lot of support and some expectations, which are good. And the kids, the kids want to do well too. You know, the young people work hard, and it's not just in football, but in all sports, they work hard to do well. And I think that shows sometimes on, uh, you know, how you do in those sports. 
we always believe the weight room is really important for all sports. And so summer weight room with the junior high kids, we think is, a, is an important thing. And then with all the high school kids also, just trying to keep them uh, and get them to understand the importance of weightlifting for uh, not just performance, but also to keep people healthy. Okay, so pretty big game for this weekend. A lot is on the line this week, and the guys know it, and I know Russell knows it too. So, so we're excited about it, and we just uh, we want to come out and play well. Yeah, Russell's very good, and Russell's only losses are to very good teams too. I mean, uh, you can tell, uh, like last week, I think it was they lost to El Ellsworth, who's ranked fourth, and it was a really close game. I mean, Russell could have won that one. Russell's, Russell's a great team, and we're going to have to be ready to play. Okay, how big is that first home game for the district court? Well, I think it's huge. It's huge because, you know, getting to play at home is always good. But also when you're talking playoffs where every game, I mean, that you got to win it to keep going. That's, that's a big – it's a it's big for not just the home team, I think, but just for your whole setting for what playoffs is going to look like. Okay. Um, what do you guys got to do to get that victory for Warriors Friday? Well, we got to try to slow down the, their offense because they've got a lot of guys that do things with the ball, whether it's catching, running. Uh, the quarterback's really good throwing and scrambling. I mean, trying to slow down their offense is going to be uh, a big part of it for us. And then moving the ball consistently, putting together long drives, and then finishing those drives with scores is going to be big, big for us. Okay.